Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. So today we're going to talk a little bit about jumbo quail and what weight they need to make by a certain week uh, to be considered a jumbo uh, or in the jumbo classification. Um, there are three different Caternix weight classes. You have the Bantams, your standards, and then your jumbo class. Uh, Bantams are going to average between four and six ounces, right around six weeks of age. Your standards will be an average of eight to ten ounces, right around eight weeks of age. And then the jumbo classification, uh, average weight of 12 to 14 ounces at 10 weeks of age. Now, I know there's a saying going around that said uh, to be considered a jumbo, uh, they need to make 10 ounces by 10 weeks. But a lot of uh, Caternix um, are making jumbo classification of 10 ounces at eight weeks of age. So why would you want to add that after two weeks uh, to wait just to classify them as a jumbo? Um, a lot of breeders have uh, taken you know, painstaking steps to selectively breed uh, and cull out birds that don't make weight or birds that are not of you know, physical standards um, and really improved on the jumbo line. Um, the first thing you want to look for when you're going through and weighing your birds um, is overall health of the bird. You want to make sure that uh, they have clear eyes, their beaks are you know, uniform, there's no cross beak or scissor beak, uh, no deformities anywhere on the bird, a good structure, um, pelvic bone uh, distance between the pelvic bones, uh, feather structure. There is a uh, sheet that Tamara Roselle put together on conformity on uh, Caternix. That's a really good sheet. I think I'll try to link that also in the description below. That way you can look at your quail and determine whether or not it uh, meets the you know structural standards and whatnot. Um, once you've gone through and selected all your birds um, that meet your standards, the health standards and the conformity standards, then you can go ahead and worry about weighing your birds. Now, like I said earlier, I don't go by that 10 ounces at 10 weeks thing. Um, I've been using a chart that I got from uh, Perry Schofield, and <clears throat> this chart has all the different weights that your birds should make by a certain week of age. Like two weeks of age, they need to be 80 grams or 2.8 ounces. Uh, three weeks should be 130 grams or 4.59 ounces. Four weeks should be 200 grams or 7.05 ounces. Five weeks, 240 grams or 8.47. Six weeks should be 280 grams or 9.87 ounces. Now that's at six weeks. So 9.87 ounces at six weeks is just a little bit shy of that 10 ounce weight by 10 weeks. So if you can make it at six weeks, why would you want to give them to, to 10 weeks? And then uh, your overall weight uh, is to shoot for 330 grams or 11.64 ounces at eight weeks of age. Uh, and don't keep anything that do, does not measure up to these standards. Now, normally uh, when I'm weighing for my jumbos, I don't even start weighing till they're around six weeks of age. Um, that way I get a pretty good idea if they're going to make the classification by eight weeks of age, make a jumbo. Um, in this case, I do have a bunch of four week old uh, birds that I want to go through because I need to cull some of them out and I want to go through and just see which ones are making uh, the weight at four weeks of age. The scale that I'm using is an Accutech postal scale, picked it up off of Amazon. I think it costs less than $20 for the scale. And also I use a, a little wire basket that I made out of some leftover uh, cage wire. And that's what I put the birds in to kind of keep them calm so I can get an accurate rate on the scale. Now you can see here, uh, our target weight is uh, 200 grams at four weeks. And this bird is uh, 208. So this bird has met weight. And uh, I've already gone through all these birds and looked them over to make sure that, you know, they, they fit uh, the health standards that I was talking about earlier. Uh, here's another little hen. Uh, she is also uh, 212, 210, somewhere in there. So this one made weight. Now, 
Roosters are going to run a little bit lighter than your hens. Uh, you, a lot of people would think, well, I want, I want to select the largest hens and I want to select the largest roosters so I can increase that size. Here's the problem you run into when trying to increase the size of your birds. One, if you're going for really heavy roosters, they're going to have issues uh, breeding with the hens and the hens can potentially be injured by a heavier male. So you want to select a rooster that's a little bit lighter than the hen, but still falls in that on the low end of the, uh, the jumbo weight classification. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, you know, we've got birds that weigh, you know, 16 ounces plus. Um, the problem you run into with that, and I've talked to a lot of commercial breeders about this, when you start pushing the weight limits that far, you get issues with uh, the birds. They have health issues, whether it's, you know, bone structure, feet issues, leg issues, um, just overall, you know, health issues by going with that large of a bird. And even the hens, they can have issues, you know, laying eggs, they can become prolapsed and whatnot. So um, it's not always, bigger isn't always better. So, you know, shoot for the, for the target. I think most um, breeders agree that anything between 12 and 14, even 15 ounces um, is pretty much perfect for a jumbo classification. Um, another problem with, with putting on the weight of these jumbo birds that you know exceed 16 ounces is most of that weight is fat um, and a fat bird is not a healthy bird <clears throat> okay and here's another one at 208 grams so that seems to be pretty much the average weight um, let's go ahead I've got some six week old birds that I want to weigh and then I want to talk about some different color varieties um, a lot of people ask me, you know, um, can you make a color, a different color variety into a jumbo line? And absolutely you can. It's just a matter of weight. Um, so you're going to have to selectively breed to get those color birds up to the weight that you want to be classified as a jumbo. Okay, so I went ahead and selected a few of my six week old birds. We're going to go ahead and weigh them. Uh, like I said earlier, I did look over these birds and they met all the other criteria and uh, now we just need to select them for weight. Now at six weeks uh, according to Perry's chart they should weigh uh, 280 grams on up. Uh, this bird is 296 so she has made weight. Okay, and here's another one. She is at 300 grams, so she's made weight. And I have had people ask me um, what percentage of birds that you weigh from a jumbo line uh, should make weight. And on average, to be a, a true jumbo line, it should be between 90 and 95% of the birds that you hatch out should make the jumbo classification. So if you're getting a lot of, you know, just say, 50% of your birds are making weight and 50% of them are running a little bit light. You're going to want to do a little bit more selective breeding on that line just to make sure that, you know, especially if you're selling hatching eggs or uh, growing birds out for a meat line, um, you want to make sure that the bulk of your birds or the bulk of the eggs that hatch out for one of your customers, uh, that they're actually going to make weight. Uh, here's a nice hen. She's at uh, 306 grams, so she also made weight uh, at the six-week mark. And then I've got one more here. This one feels a little bit light. Um, she is at 234 grams. So this bird did not make weight, so she is most likely going to get culled. Um, what I'll probably do... I'm not going to call her right right away, but what I'll probably do, I'll put her in a separate pen uh, with all the other birds that didn't make weight. Then I'll give them another two weeks, and uh, we'll just go ahead and butcher them out, you know, for personal consumption. <clears throat> okay, again, I want to talk a little bit about uh, different color lines and making um, other color lines other than Pharaohs a jumbo line. Um, you can take any standard colored quail. Um, and with through selective breeding you can actually create a jumbo line of that color so let me go ahead I'm gonna pull some birds that I've been working on I have no idea what their weight is 
Um, it's just a color line that I've been working on. I am hoping that they make jumbo weight. That way they can be sold um, as a jumbo line, you know, down the road. Uh, if they don't, that's fine because right now I'm just working on the color. Uh, I want to get that perfected and then we'll worry about the weight later. Okay, so this is one of the color lines that I've been working on for the past year or so. These are the red pansies or the pansy with the rouge jean. Um, like I said earlier, I don't really care if these birds make weight or not because I'm just worried more about a color, about the color line than I am the birds themselves. But these birds are at seven weeks old and they are 306 grams. So they have actually made weight. Um, these are going to be classified as jumbos. Now I got a rooster in here. He's a little bit younger. Or not a little bit younger, but a little bit lighter. And he is 268 grams. So that's close enough for me. I mean, he's 268 grams. Um, it should be 280 grams at six weeks, but I don't mind having a lighter rooster as long as all my hens make weight. So let me. Okay, so I had to come back out here and uh, weigh up some birds. My other camera messed up, and I just wanted to show you. Uh, that on the scale, um, what I was reading off to you is actually right. Again, these are four week old birds. Uh, this one here is 232 grams at four weeks of age and the target weight was 200 grams. So that's, a, that's definitely a keeper. Um, here's another one. She is 230, 228 grams. So she made weight. This one here looks a little bit lighter. We'll go ahead and weigh her anyhow. Uh, 212 grams. So she still is past the, uh, the uh, 200 gram weight at four weeks. Okay, and here's uh, a couple of the uh, six week old birds. Uh, again, you can see this one's 326 gram. So six week target was 280 grams. So she is definitely a keeper. And then we've got one more over here. She is 300, uh, 294 grams. So she's still past the 280 gram uh, mark. So she's another keeper. Okay, and here is a couple of the red pansy hens. Uh, these are 306 grams, um, so she definitely made weight. Then I've got one. This one feels a little bit bigger. Uh, 352 grams. So she is definitely uh, going to make weight for the... Uh, the red pansy line. Okay, I thought I'd throw in a couple uh, Egyptians. Uh, these are also six week old Egyptians. You can she, see that she is well above 300 grams, about 324 grams. So this Egyptian line will also be classified as jumbos. Here's a, an Egyptian rooster. And he's a little bit lighter, but I don't care. 200 and 88, 290 grams uh, at six weeks for a rooster is just fine. Okay, guys, so I hope this gave you a little bit better understanding of the weight classification as far as jumbos are concerned, what your bird should uh, weigh by a certain week of age, uh, what you should look for even prior to weighing your birds. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them down in the comment section down below. I try to get in there and answer questions as much as possible. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos. So thanks for joining me today, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.